In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my, by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, we have a wonderful promise from our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the promise of his close accompaniment. If we love him and if we keep his word. Whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. And make our dwelling with him. And where could God be except in our spirit, except in our heart, which is wherever we are? And what's this condition that our Lord puts? Uh, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my father and I will come to him and make our dwelling with him. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Um, well, word is also translated as commandment. It's a word of action. It's a word to be carried out. And right after this in the Gospel of John, Jesus will say, And this is my commandment, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you too love one another. And so in order to keep Jesus and God the Father in our heart, in order to keep him with us in our spirit, in that dwelling place that they want to make in our soul, we have to keep his word. We have to keep his commandment. And his commandment is to care about others. His commandment is this commandment of love. Love one another as I have loved you. And so this is a great way of, of thinking about how to live the presence of God. We want to make our souls and our lives more and more a place, an abode, a dwelling, where Jesus and his Father feel comfortable. We want to make it a house that is welcoming, that is tidy and cozy and comfortable and ready to receive God. And how do we do this? If you love me, you will keep my commandment. And this is my commandment, that you love one another. Right? God feels comfortable in a generous heart. God feels comfortable in a heart that is like his, ready to serve others with generosity, with even with sacrifice sacrificing of our own comfort, the sacrificing of our own impatience, the sacrificing of our own plans. And all of these are ways that almost every day we can love others, but to give up our own way, our own idea of how things should go, so that we can give in to others and to, and to make their life more pleasant, to sacrifice our own desire to take it easy in order to get something good done today, right? Even if we're confined and locked up in the house, we can still do something good. There's still some good that God has given us to do. The sacrifice of our impatience, that impulse to become frustrated, to become short and perhaps snippy with others, to sacrifice that with generosity, to love others and the love of God. And so let's remember this, that Jesus and his Father, as long as we're in the state of grace, yeah, that's the real commandment. We only cast charity out of our heart. We only cast love out of our heart through mortal sin. As long as we're in the state of grace, the Trinity dwells within us. We're tabernacles of the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are in our heart, are in our spirit. As long as we're in the state of grace, we carry our Lord with us. And what does our Lord want to do in us? Well, he wants to love others. He wants to love God the Father. He wants to love the people in our life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.